Hey dragon. You don't got to do this. Okay, it is 4:15 in the afternoon and I woke up about 15 minutes ago, so I've been asleep all day. Uh, I went to Warp Tour over the weekend and my voice is going and I'm in pain and so I will do Stevie's little thing next week or something because one, I cannot think right now and two, I cannot move. I'm not allowed to play video games so I know nothing of video games because I'm banned from them. I do sneak some video games onto my iPhone, but they're iPhone games. Like, I have Lego Harry Potter and I have Assassin's Creed. If I go to arcades, which I actually do quite often, um, I usually end up playing shooting games and stuff like that. A game that I guess you could say that I play with my friends a lot is dress up. We dress up a lot and purposely try and look weird or something we we dress up like bands um and try and look like them and we dress up like book characters and walk around and stuff and it's quite fun tired my voice hurts I screamed a lot i just realized that it's fourth of july this is how out of it i am i think sports go into the games category and if we're going to talk about sports um I have been involved in not that many sports. It was mainly just early elementary school that I was involved in sports. I did cross country, not very long lived. I did softball, not very long lived. I did volleyball, again, not, not very long lived. I did basketball, I sucked at it. Um, I think that's it. I did soccer for two years. I don't know, I like soccer. I like playing soccer, but I don't like watching soccer. And I don't like playing soccer anymore because I don't like moving. I was in marching band, so I watched football all the time, though not by choice. I still don't really know the rules of football or any other sport for that matter, so even though I played a lot of them, I still don't understand them. Quidditch. I understand more about Quidditch than I do anything. I could play a full game of Quidditch and referee it and everything and I actually have held Quidditch games with my friends. I want to start up like a Quidditch le a mini Quidditch league in the Fresno area but I don't know how to go about doing that so I'm trying to figure that out. I used to like playing card games a lot. Don't know why that happened. I played the games on DVDs. I am a huge 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 fan of board games. About a year ago I bought Harry Potter Clue and I was excited because it's a combination of two things that I love. Harry Potter and Clue. I adore Clue. I'm really, really good at Clue, mainly because I've played it so often. Oh, my little app is done. Hopefully it will work the way I'm hoping it will work. You got Victoria. If you had to pick one game to play for the rest of your life, and you, like, you could not play any other game, only this one game, what would that game be? I filmed this right after I woke up, so I still have not had any caffeine. So, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drink mounds of coffee. Bye.